I want to salute you, homie, you know, for, for building your own thing and doing your own thing, creating your own platform, your own website. I got one life to live out my dreams, and I'm giving this thing all I got. I interview celebrities. I talk sports. I represent the culture. All right, now you're turning up on MrTalaferro.com, shawty. Yeah. All right, Mr. Telefero TV, I want to preface my comments by saying I have nothing but respect for Lil Wayne and his legacy. He's a legend. I've actually met Regine, um Carter, his daughter, at a, a, a basketball game, an Atlanta Hawks basketball game a while back. Um, I seen her over the weekend, didn't talk to her or anything. Um, over the weekend at the Ludacris Celebrity Basketball Game, she seemed to be in high spirits. Her mom, Toya Wright, was there as well. Salute to them and everything they got going on. They've been dealing with a lot over the last calendar year. But Regine came out and made a statement, and I'm not trying to knock Regine Carter by any means by uh, publicizing this statement and publicizing the hypocrisies in this statement. All right, so for those who don't know, Lil Wayne allegedly had some uh more seizures obviously wayne has had plenty of seizures over the last couple years um his performances because of the seizures this time we heard that he was actually passed out and unconscious in chicago because of his latest seizures and he missed his show in las vegas and um he had a show with ray strumman and he just couldn't come he was, i mean he was in the hospital dealing with the seizures and a lot of people believe it's because of his use of lean wayne won't hop off the lean Right? Regine Carter came out and said, My dad is doing fine, everyone. Thanks for the concerns. You guys are amazing. And oh, yeah, don't believe everything you hear. Now, to be fair to Regine, the don't believe everything you hear could be about anything. Maybe she got a report that her father was dead. Again, we don't want to play like that, but maybe she heard that somewhere. We don't know. Um, maybe she got a report, or maybe she seen something that was further than what it was. Maybe Wayne wasn't unconscious. But. I will say this, that you guys are amazing, don't believe everything you hear, it strikes me a kind of way, because it seems as if so, and this has been Wayne's problem throughout the back end of his career, is that everybody's making excuses for Wayne, and that seems like that could be like part of the problem everybody keeps lying to themselves about what's going on in Wayne's situation. Let me take you back. Kobe Bryant, Kobe being Bryant, right? Somebody that actually has gotten compared to a lot in his life to, to Wayne. As hell, as a matter of fact, they, Wayne made a song about Kobe. Remember back in 2008, he made a, you know, after, what was it, 2008, 2009, when Kobe won a championship number four, he, Wayne made a song called Kobe. And that's kind of where Wayne and Kobe were both at the, the climaxes of their careers, right? So when Kobe on the back end of his career and everybody knew it around Kobe that the brother was still chucking up his 30. And I'm the biggest Kobe fan you can find. He was shooting 30, 35 shots a game. Um, it wasn't conducive to winning. He was selfish still on the court, off the court. He The last two years, he took 30 million dollars 25 the first year and then 30 that second year which kind of weakened the lakers position and they couldn't go after big name free agents because they were still paying an aging superstar that type of money and you had at the same time you had guys like lebron at that time kobe took that deal lebron had never been the highest paid player on his team many people argue that lebron was the best player in the nba for at least a decade at that point the thing that a lot of people didn't want to admit was that Yo, as great as you are, Kobe, and as great as you was, you're hurting our team. I don't think enough people around Lil Wayne are telling him the truth about his situation. You're consistent lean use, my brother. And I'm not trying to knock Wayne. He's a legend. Could very well be part of your legacy and your problem. When you think about it. We're talking about Wayne not even being able to put out an album. You don't think Wayne's paperwork would have been in a better situation if the brother was more focused on stuff like that outside of the music because his music has always been where his focus has been. But if you if you don't think if he wasn't on the drugs, Wayne wouldn't be a little bit more focused and conscious of his situation. 
let's just tell the truth. Stop lying to yourself. And when you see Regine, and it's her father, I'm not in that household by any means. And I, again, I don't want to come, come across as disrespectful to them, but it's the truth. I don't think enough people got the, the, the a mitigated gall to call out Wayne because he's so high up. And I believe in my heart of hearts, that's part of the downfall of that brother's legacy. He's not able to focus on other things outside of music because the brother is, is too busy on the lean. He's on the, the, the skateboard. Like, sheesh, he's a business. And one thing we got to give respect to the new cats, the Drakes of the world, the Kendrick Lamars of the world, the Coles of the world as they age, get into their 30s. Them brothers have their hands and foots in their business. So what happened to Wayne could never happen to them. Mr. Telepro TV, thank you for the time and support. Get well, Wayne. We're going to send some, some, some best wishes to you. But we can't keep sending these best wishes to you, my brother. If Wayne doesn't want to get better, I ain't finna just be wasting my time. Subscribe to my channel for more exclusive content like this. I'm out. I want to salute you, homie, you know, for, for building your own thing and doing your own thing, creating your own platform, your own website. I got one life to live out my dreams, and I'm giving this thing all I got. I interview celebrities. I talk sports. I represent the culture. Right now, you're turning up on MrTalaferro.com, shawty.